Hi, Sean here, and welcome to this course where we're going to be covering a wide variety of different topics that will get you well on your way to becoming an effective ServiceNow admin. Now, before we jump in here and start learning all these topics, the first thing that I'd like to do is give you a better idea of what exactly it means to be a ServiceNow admin, right? On the surface, I mean, obviously, it sounds like it's important because it's an admin, right? But what exactly are you doing in your organization as a ServiceNow admin? Well, a metaphor that I like to use to explain this is picture for a moment that you're a building manager of a big old skyscraper. And let's say that there's a company that's working inside there, maybe several companies even. Well, in that building, there's going to be an awful lot of people going back and forth. And the fact is that you're not really going to know or care very much about the specifics of what those people are doing, right? So there might be a lot of people having a meeting in a room and it's important that the room has the lights on. It's important that the air conditioning is working in the room, but it's not really your responsibility to know or care what's being discussed in that room. And the same thing is true throughout the whole building, right? You really, your job as the building manager in that case would be to keep all the systems of the building running and in many cases, doing things like updating the systems, modifying you know, certain layouts in the building, things like that, so that everyone in that building can do what they need to do in order to you know, move that organization forward. And that's very similar, right? If you can follow my metaphor here, to what you're gonna be doing as a ServiceNow admin, right? In other words, everyone at the organization that you're at is going to be using ServiceNow for specific tasks and it's not always going to be your responsibility to care what those tasks are, but you're going to need to make sure that ServiceNow allows them to do those tasks as efficiently as possible. All right, so anyway, hopefully that metaphor helps you to understand a little bit more just how important your job is, but also how it's, it's kind of decoupled in a way from what everyone else in the organization is going to be doing. So with that said, the next thing that I want to talk about is what is ServiceNow exactly? Well, if you want to learn the basics of ServiceNow, I'm actually going to be assuming throughout this whole course that you've already done so. Um, so I'd highly recommend that you take a look at my other course that covers the basics of ServiceNow, right? It'll cover the basic interfaces that you're likely to see, um, just different terminology about ServiceNow and really the flows that different things go through, right? Information goes through when it's traveling between people on the ServiceNow platform. So I'd highly recommend that you take a look at that course first before jumping in here. But just to give you kind of a, you know, a 10 to 15 second explanation of what ServiceNow is, ServiceNow is a collection of very powerful tools that help organizations centralize and streamline everything that they do, right? So all of the information that's flowing through that organization, all of the tasks that are getting worked on at that organization, ServiceNow helps you keep track of all of those things and also in many cases automate them. So that's ultimately what ServiceNow is going to help you do, right? Instead of having to keep track of all of these email threads and text messages and phone calls and things like that going through your organization, it gives you a single centralized place to keep track of all of those things, and then it gives you tools to control how all of those things move through your organization. Again, we're gonna be seeing these things in a lot more detail, at least from the admin perspective throughout the rest of this course, but again, if you wanna see the basics, please feel free to go back and take a look at the basics of ServiceNow course.